Welcome. In this video, we'll be going through the steps to create an advanced DSO in SAP BW on HANA. For SAP BW on HANA customers, the advanced DSO will replace all existing persisted info providers. For this demo, I will be creating an advanced DSO using a data source as a template. In the HANA Studio, expand your BW project. Navigate to the info area where you would like your advanced DSO to reside. In this case, the info area is in my backend favorites folder. Right click New, Advanced DSO. Enter the advanced DSO technical name and description. Use a data source as a template. In this case, I am using a data source called Sales Order Header. Click Finish to go to the Advanced DSO definition. The modeling properties enable you to control how the Advanced DSO behaves. To assist in the selection of these properties, you can use a predefined template. You have the option of selecting your template based on the data warehousing layer. This is in line with the SAP LSA++ architecture, or based on the classic objects. In this case, I will base my advanced DSO off a standard DSO template. In the Details tab, you can define the structure of your advanced DSO. The system has copied the fields from the template data source to the structure. You'll notice that there are no info objects in my structure at the moment. You can tell this by the icon associated with the field. Now I will define the key of the advanced DSO. In this case, I'm using sales order ID. Next, I will identify field customer ID with info object 0B partner. You can do this by identifying the field with an info object and then selecting the info object from the browser. You will notice that the icon has now changed for this field in the advanced DSO definition. Now I will assign the currency key for my key figures. In this example, field currency is my only currency key. Click on the field and change the data type to C-U-K-Y. I will now assign the currency key to my key figures. In this case, amount is my only key figure. Click on the field and alter the data type to reflect currency. Now choose Fill Currency from the drop down list to assign the currency key. When you are happy with the structure of the advanced DSO, click on the Activate button. When the advanced DSO has been activated, you will receive a message at the bottom left hand part of the screen. In the settings tab, you can define database level partitioning and indexes. Under DDIC information, you can see the technical names of the advanced DSO tables which are created on activation. The advanced DSO can be made available to the SAP HANA modeling tools via a BW generated view. To switch on the creation of the BW generated view, go to the general tab and click the external SAP HANA view checkbox. Once activated, the view is made available to you in the HANA repository. To access this, go to System Local, BW, BW to HANA, and locate your view.
Thank you for viewing this video. For more articles, videos and information, please visit the EDW Product Management Community page.